Hello students, I hope you are all fine and in good health. In this audio presentation, I will be discussing some note making tips that I want to give to all of you. Some suggestions I want to give to all of you. How will you, you will proceed? What are the things that you should do? What are the things that you should avoid in case of note making? So dear students, uh, let's start. So the first important thing that is written here is prepare notes using phrases only never use complete sentences i repeatedly uh, referred to this point again and again i am repeating it that because this thing is related with the format construction now if the concept is not clear it is very difficult to uh, achieve uh, success in case of composing a note making format so the most important thing is that uh, Never ever use complete sentences in case of note making. Prepare notes using phrases only. That is something very important. I am repeating this point once again. Prepare notes using uh, phrases only. Never use complete sentences. Complete sentences definitely you will use. But complete sentences you will use in case of summary writing dear students. Not in case of note making. Next important thing that I like to discuss with you all, the topic sentence of each paragraph is the main point and ideas affiliated to it are sub points one or more depending on the concepts in the paragraph. Now each paragraph will highlight the main point and obviously there might be some supporting points also. So those ideas that you will, be, uh, you will get in that paragraph apart from the main ideas the other ideas, the other supporting ideas that supports the main ideas, uh, those points are to be written one by one following a sequence. And that entirely depends on the main concept in the paragraph related with an unseen passage. This is something you all should know about. Next one, see it is written, each sub point may or may not have supplementary ideas which become sub sub points now it is not mandatory that in every paragraph every time that you will have to break it down more because normally with one main point two sub points are given but sometimes you can break it up but it is not mandatory and it is not necessary every time that you have to get some more points apart from the supporting ideas sometimes you will get sometimes not when you won't be getting, it is not advisable that intentionally you will break it up more. It is not necessary, then no need to do. If you feel like that there are more important ideas related with the main passage or the main points, then obviously you should do the breakdown of that. But every time it is not necessary. So basically you all remember that with one main point, two sub points are enough. But if you find, if you feel like, no, apart from two sub points, some other points has to be written because it demands the passage or that paragraph in that unseen passage demands, then only you further break it up. Otherwise, with one main point, two sub points are enough, more than enough, dear students. I am moving on to the next point now. Uh, see, it is written, provide an appropriate title for the notes or the summary as given in the question appropriate title is a must when you will be writing the note making format when you will be solving it appropriate title must be given when you are doing the summary if you feel like you can give a title also but remember the title that you will be given a uh, giving in the note making format that title should comprise the entire theme of the passage. It should be universal and most importantly, it should be unanimous. Include a minimum of four to six distinctly different recognizable short forms, that is abbreviations of the words in the notes. At least four, four to six, max to max six abbreviations. That means abbreviations and symbols you can give many in case of while you are constructing the main note making format that time you can give many abbreviations and symbols but finally after the note making format is completely done then you select only four and keep it within box and then close the box with the pencil 
you have to do it 4 to 6 4 is the minimum max to max 6 but not more than that but i repeat one more time plenty of symbols and abbreviations you can use in the main note making format select only 4 to 6 not more than that now i am moving on uh, to the next important thing uh, cover all the important points in the notes meaningfully to prepare the summary in about 50 words yes you have to cover up the important points remember summary you have to write specifically 50 to 80 sometimes within 100 words whatever the instruction is given remember one thing you have to comprise you have to write only the main point the summary should include only the main points or the summary should comprise only the main points so no need to give all the points i repeat no need to give all the points in a summary and another important thing only the main point should be given and avoid repetition ex explanations examples i repeat avoid repetitions explanations and examples while composing a summary because it is not needed and obviously if you do all those things it will be wrong and further it will complicate the situation because your word limit will increase write the summary in complete sentence in a paragraph in a single paragraph it is advisable for all of you to write down the summary now i will talk at length uh, related related with summary now because i had discussed at length related with the note making format about symbols and abbreviations and what are the things in case of note making you have to do now i will discuss at length related with the summary how will you summarize a given unseen passage obviously i have i had told you all that there should be a deep connection or relationship or a relationship between the note making format and the summary because if the summary is a bit different and the format is a bit different obviously your marks will be less because dear students the important suggestion i am saying it right now that the summary that you will be writing that summary should be based on the note making format that already you had done because first you have to do the note making then you have to do the summary dear students i am repeating the summary should be based on the note making structure that you have done the note making that you have done the summary should be based on that now what are the points that you have to remember while approaching or while writing a summary first read one reading is not enough at least three times you have to read read the passage very carefully and critically <clears throat> this is very important dear students you have to very carefully and very critically you have to read the passage read the passage straight through now normally at the very beginning you just go through the passage normally give it a general reading second time when you will be reading make it a bit critical <clears throat> Now let me continue. Read the passage straight, straight through. Do not stop to look up anything that gives you trouble at the first reading. So it will be a, a very generalized reading. Don't complicate the things. Read it at a flow. My suggestion is that read at a flow. Now don't look into the things that will give you trouble. That there might be some words that... Uh, you don't know the meaning at the first reading nothing to worry you just go through it okay that will be the best option for you just randomly go through it make it a like a armchair reading generally you read it you should get a feel for the author's tone style and main idea obviously first reading one thing will be very clear to you you will be familiar or it will make you familiar and much more uh, accessible uh, to you related with the author's style tone and main idea so you will be familiar to some extent uh, at the back of your mind you will be familiar related with the author's tone uh, with the author's style of writing and the main idea that much you will acquire in your first reading so these are some important points now second reading what i have written here read it Rereading should be active reading. Now, previously you have written, uh, you, you have read it in a very casual manner, but second time when you will be reading it, you will be a bit critical because the first time 
it was more or less like an armchair reading but the second time again when you will be reading that unseen passage remember one thing that this time the reading should be active reading underline the topic sentences and key facts with pencil label the areas that you want to refer to as you write your summary so important thing as i told you underline the important ideas and facts with pencil label the areas that you want to refer to as you write your summary so labeling numbering these things are very important also label the areas that you find irrelevant those uh, particular uh, points that you feel like it is not important so much what you feel like irrelevant you can label that uh, that areas also you can underline or you can mark those areas also identify areas that you do not understand and try to clarify those points now this is very important you have to identify those areas that you do not understand maybe uh, reading for the third time ideas will be more clear to you now when you will be reading for the second time as i told you you have to be a bit critical and you have to identify the main points and the irrelevant details also okay you mark the irrelevant details also and you mark the relevant details also because later when you will be doing the note making format when you will be preparing the format okay when you will be doing the entire structure when you will be composing the note making it will help you and later when you will be doing the summary at that time also it will be helping you a lot okay now uh, last line you see this is very important dear students identify areas that you do not understand and try to clarify those points now maybe second reading or third reading will clarify those points to you all now one sentence at a time this is very important write the main idea of each paragraph in one well developed sentence these are the techniques why i am repeating these techniques because uh, when you will be practicing it it will be much more clear to you all so write the main idea of each paragraph in one well developed sentence make sure that what you include in your sentence are key points and not minor details only include the key points irrelevant points minor details should be totally excluded write a thesis statement now this is very important the key to a well written summary is the thesis statement that means obviously when you are doing the summary obviously you have done a bit of a research related with the passage you know what are the important uh, sections of the passage you know what are the important points related with those passage so obviously the thesis statement is related to that our thesis statement consists of the following parts now what are actually found in a thesis statement first important thing a clearly identifiable topic or subject matter that is found in a thesis statement and a brief summary of what you have to say about the topic and how you can clarify uh, or you can say about the topic it will be more clear to you the moment you will understand it now remember dear students you can use thesis statement as the introductory sentence of your summary suppose you are writing the first line of a summary remember the first line of the summary is the introductory line okay so you can use your thesis statement at the very beginning while you are writing your summary that will actually make it clear and confident uh, and you will be confident also that what exactly you are about to write and obviously when the examiner will read it the examiner will be able to understand that you have totally clarified the entire passage the entire passage is very clear to you so the opening statement is very important so you can use the thesis statement as the opening statement or the opening sentence of your summary write your other sentence that can make up the body and then obviously uh, other sentences you can follow side by side one after the other that will form the body of the summary remember uh, the summary should be within a single paragraph uh, another important thing in fact a good summary should give ideas facts or points in the order in which they are given in the original passage so good summary 
it should give ideas facts or points in the order in which they are given in the original passage so a good summary should be comprehensive precise and compact it should have all the main ideas points or facts that are necessary that are very important now the next point dear students add some transition words such as then however also moreover etc that help with the overall structure and flow of the summary while you will be writing the summary use these words like moreover however then also remember these uh, these words are transition words okay and remember one, one thing this helps with the overall structure and flow of the summary and most important word limit 50 words 80 to 100 sometimes but specifically it is 50 words and should be coherent without any errors in logic there should not be any error in logic it should not be illogical it should be totally relevant to the passage the unseen passage from where you are doing the summary and most important thing is that it there should not be any errors at all don't put your opinions ideas or interpretations into the summary no need to give your personal viewpoint no need to give your personal ideas your personal opinions you may know more about a particular concept or idea that is given in the passage but no need to uh, exaggerate ideas or concept whatever is given strictly follow that whatever information is given in the passage strictly follow that i repeat one more time don't exaggerate and don't put your opinions or ideas or interpretations into the summary because ultimately it will over complicate the situation and obviously you will lose time in exam and most importantly the word limit will also exceed so these things you have to take care of and most important thing uh, you have to check your accuracy that how far you are accurate read it your summary after writing the summary you have to check it how you will be checking it by rereading it so reread your summary and make sure that you have accurately represented the main ideas or the author's ideas and key points make sure that your summary does not contain your own comments remember one thing your summary should not contain your own comments personal view points opinions should be excluded it should not be included so i repeat one more time you have to read it recheck your summary and make sure that you have accurately represented the author's ideas and key points now why what is the necessity or what why it is necessary to read it because rereading will actually make it clear to you that whether whatever was the subject matter of the passage whether you have fulfilled that subject matter by including all the main points main ideas and the key points in order to see that one checking or rereading of the summary is very important and i want to add one more thing dear students regarding this now rechecking in case of the note making is also very important whether it is a uh, it is a uh, getting uh, maintaining a proper coordination with the passage that part is important whether the ideas the author's main ideas or what the passage is all about whether the key ideas or the key points are included this thing you have to check it properly in case of summary definitely you will check it in case of the note making form that you have to solve before or that you have to compose before the summary you have to check it in that way in that case also remember i am repeating once again make sure that you uh, your summary does not contain your own comments your own comments should not be there whatever is the author's point of view or the main subject matter been highlighted exactly write that one now another important thing revise revise your summary for style grammar and punctuation correct all the errors in composition and rewrite if needed remember don't make any grammatical errors 
okay don't make any errors in terms of punctuation style in case of that don't make it a mixture of past tense and present tense okay grammar error should not be there it should be error free punctuation mark wherever necessary should be given properly so there should not be any error in composition you will get full marks if there is no error but if there is error in composition obviously you will get less marks so if you feel like during the time of rereading the passage or revising the passage that yes i have done some mistake my suggestion is that immediately you write it again okay without losing any time even in case of while you are practicing it before the exam and he also during the time of examination also if you feel like that grammatically you have done some error obviously there is some error in composition if you feel like there is a lot of errors then it is uh, my suggestion to you, all of you you rewrite it okay if it is needed so dear students these are some of the important points that i discussed related with the note making and summary writing i hope you will all listen to it and i hope you will all clarify your doubts uh, dear students if there is any doubt okay uh, after reading uh, after listening to this audio kindly let me know about it thank you students thank you all